Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Clean With Me Marathon where you guys are going to be getting an hour and a half straight of cleaning motivation. I know you guys love these videos whenever I share them. So if you are new to the Clean With Me Marathons, I created this several months ago. And what I do is I link together several of my recent cleaning videos and I put them all in one video so you guys can just go ahead and stick it on your TV, put it on your tablet, however you guys wanna watch the video and you guys can clean along with me and get all of the cleaning motivation you need all in one video. You won't have to worry about clicking onto different videos or anything. You can just go ahead and get all of your cleaning motivation in one spot. So if you guys like these cleaning videos, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you guys are going to be cleaning along with me today or using this video to go ahead and just give you a little bit of that boost of motivation and then getting to cleaning later. So I hope you guys enjoy this cleaning marathon today and let's go ahead and get on into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be filming a whole house clean with me. I shared one of these about a month ago and you guys loved it so much. I wanted to go ahead and film another one for you guys. Kyle and I are going to be going on a date tonight. We have a new babysitter coming. So I want to just make sure the whole house is kind of cleaned up for her and looking pretty nice, you know, like those first impressions and things. So I want to go ahead and get that done. And I figured taking you guys along with me would give you guys some extreme cleaning motivation. So that is what we are going to do. Let's go ahead and get on into it. So so I wanted to start out in my bedroom today. I usually always start out in my kitchen, as you guys know, but I just felt like my bedroom had so much going on in there right now that I really needed to tackle this space first. So if you watched my complete disaster maybe a few weeks ago, I was actually finally going through all of that stuff. We have just not had the time or honestly the energy to go through that entire bin. So Kyle and I had gone through it earlier in the day, decided what we were keeping and what we were getting rid of. And then I just needed to kind of organize those items and put those away. And then we also had some items that I would picked up from the Dollar Tree the day before that had just not gotten put away. So I wanted to go ahead and put those away as well. If you watch my videos all the time, you know that I make my bed every single day pretty much without fail. I feel like my day just cannot really get totally started until my bed is made and I feel like my day is so much more productive once it's made as well. I know I've challenged you guys to do this before but I seriously will challenge you for one whole week every single day as soon as you get up. Just make your bed. I guarantee it will make such a big difference for you. I know that it will make you feel so much more productive. So try that out and let me know in the comments if you're taking me up on that challenge and then let me know in one of my future videos or come back to this video and let me know how it goes in one week because I'm really excited to hear what a difference it will make for you guys. Once my bed was made, I just needed to tidy up the rest of my room and I just wanted to point out those sheets right there are actually folded sheets, including the fitted sheets. I did it you guys. All of you sent me so many video links and told me how to fold my fitted sheets. And honestly, these didn't turn out absolutely perfect, but they were really pretty good. So I just wanted to let you guys know I worked at it this last week and I am now able to fold some fitted sheets. So I'm pretty proud of myself right now because this is something that I have just never been able to do. So thank you to all of you who kind of pushed me into doing it. Once my room was pretty tidied up and everything was off my floor, 
I just needed to put away the rest of our clothes. I have shared my laundry routine in the past, so I will link that up above and down below for you guys in case if you're interested in seeing that. But we do our laundry about every day. I do have a few days off where I don't do any laundry, and it's really nice the way we work it out for our family. So if you are interested in seeing that, definitely check out that video. Next, I needed to clear off the tops of our dressers. I feel like these usually don't get too terrible, but lately they have just become the catch-all in our room. So I'm really excited to be decluttering our entire house come this February. We are going to start that journey together. You guys have been really excited to see those videos and I'm really excited to film them and share them with you. I know that it's going to feel like a breath of fresh air once our house is totally decluttered and I just feel like I'm going to have to spend so much less time and effort focusing on cleaning and organizing everything. And I did ask you guys in my last video what areas of the house you would like to see decluttered first, but if you guys missed that video or didn't leave me a comment, let me know what areas you would like to see me declutter first because I am pretty much have to go through my entire house and I'm really excited to go on this journey together. Moving into the kitchen, I just needed to clear everything off of our counters. I felt like it was mostly dishes in here today, but we did have a lot of them. So I just wanted to put all of our dishes in the sink and then once I got everything cleared off our counter, I would go ahead and tackle those. Hey, I hope you're doing well. I know it's been a while, but you're still in my head. I wonder if you think about me now and then, like I do right now, about you. I wish it if you've seen my morning routine, you know that our older boys usually unload the dishwasher every morning, but on this day, we had just had such a busy morning and they just didn't get around to doing it. So I just figured today I would go ahead and do it myself since they had already headed out. What I'm supposed to do. I just wanna be right next to you. Even though I try to get you off my mind. You know that I'm thinking about you all the time Like when we were driving in our car Looking at the stars Made us stop at every bar we found I can see us like a movie in my head I only wish I didn't have to watch the end I try to focus on a different part Like when you play guitar Always singing me that song from Friends uh.
I always get so many questions and comments about our dishwasher whenever I'm loading it because we do have this top rack as you can see up here and that just makes it so nice. I have not seen another dishwasher like this but this is a Samsung and we got it when we moved into this house and we just love having that top rack so much. It's really nice to put like anything really shallow or any lids or anything you have and it also cleans everything really well. I don't feel like I have to scrub all of our dishes off really well before we put anything in there. So if you are in the market for a new dishwasher definitely check out the Samsungs they have really good ones. Even though I try to get you off my mind, you know that I'm thinking about you all the time. Like when we were driving in a car, looking at the stars, made us stop at every bar we found. I can see it's like a movie in my head. I really wish I didn't have to watch the end. I try to focus on a different part, like when you play guitar, always singing me that song from friends. Oof. doing well i know it's been a while but you're still in my head i wonder if you think about me now and then like i do right now about you even though i try to get you off my mind you know that i'm thinking about you all the time like when we were driving in your car looking at the stars made us stop at every bar we found i can see it's like a movie in my head i really wish i didn't have to watch the end i try to focus on a different part like when you play guitar always singing once I had cleaned all of our dishes and our sink was emptied out, I really wanted to clean our sink. Now most days I will just clean our sink with dish soap, but once a week or so I like to use this Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleaner, and this is really good for cleaning it and making it look really shiny. And I don't know what it is, but I've said this so many times, every time I clean my sink it just makes me feel like my kitchen is so much cleaner and so much more peaceful. So scrubbing out the sink is one of my favorite things to clean. To wipe off my counters, I am just using the Mrs. Meyers all-purpose cleaner in the basil scent. This just smells so good. It smells like the perfect spring scent to me because it's so fresh and bright and clean. So this has definitely become my favorite Mrs. Meyers scent that is available year round. And I do get all of my cleaning products from Grove Collaborative and I do have a link down below where you can get some free goodies. I believe the link I have right now will give you a free bubble up dish brush as well as a glass hand soap dispenser and a hand soap refill and also some walnut scrubber sponges. So it is such a good deal. If you guys have been looking into Grove, I definitely recommend swiping up this deal. I wanted to get you guys a deal that was a little bit different than I've done before, so I reached out to them and they gave me this one, so I'm really excited to share this one with you guys. Need no apologies, cause stats don't really care what you think, what you think, what you think.
Okay, so I wanted to pause for a minute and see if you guys have any tips for me. I've talked about how we kind of have some hard water issues in our house and I cannot get this clean. I haven't tried everything, I'm sure, but let me know if you guys have something to help me with this. Okay, so this is how it looks after I've wiped it down. This is like our water dispenser in our fridge, but you can see there's just like hard water stuck on there. I cannot figure out how to get it off. So if you guys have any tips, please leave them down in the comments. I need some help with this. But on a better note, look at how good that e-cloth did. I'm telling you guys, they are like little magic cloths. They just work amazingly with just water. Awesome. Moving into our living room, it looks like a tornado had hit a little bit. There were diapers everywhere, there were toys everywhere. I think we'd asked Noah to get a diaper out and he decided to just get lots out for later on. So I needed to go ahead and pick those up. Of course the throw pillows were on the floor because I don't know about you guys, but in our house, our throw pillows are on the floor at least 80% of the time. I probably put them back on the couch maybe four times a day. It's kind of ridiculous. I think Kyle doesn't really even know why we have throw pillows anymore because they're almost always on the floor, but it's a labor of love. I love throw pillows. I think they look so nice and they're so nice to snuggle up with, but I am actually looking for some new ones that I can use year round. If you guys have any tips on where your favorite places to shop for throw pillows are, leave them down in the comments because I am really picky on throw pillows, but I want something that's kind of neutral that I can use all year round. Next, I just wanted to get our diffuser going in our living room. Since we were having the babysitter come over tonight, I just wanted our house to start smelling really good for her and just make it smell really fresh and clean. So I wanted to get that going early on in the day. And then after that, I needed to vacuum our couch and our couch cushions. We do have a dog and two cats, and usually I feel like they don't shed too much. We do brush them pretty often but Emma especially is really blowing coat right now just with the weather changing. So she has been shedding like crazy. I feel like everything in our house is just totally covered in her hair. So vacuuming is becoming such a daily thing. I already vacuum every day anyway, but I feel like I'm having to vacuum different things a lot more often. Like I don't vacuum our couch every day and I feel like I'm having to vacuum it like every other day at least because her hair is just getting everywhere. Next, I went into our little powder room that we have on the main floor. And this bathroom, I pretty much never show you guys just because it's so small, it's hard to get a good angle in here. But because we were having a guest tonight, I wanted to make sure that this bathroom was really clean in case she needed to use it. So I started out by cleaning off the toilet and then letting that disinfectant spray just sit on there for a few minutes so it could actually work. And then while the toilet was disinfecting, I wanted to go ahead and clean off the sink and the countertop. And while I was doing that, I went ahead and added my new hand soap dispenser in our bathroom. I thought this was so pretty and it smells really good. I shared this in my recent Grove haul and this is one of those items that I was talking about that you can get for free if you use that link down below. And I love that I'm able to change out the scents and still have this look so pretty and so simple in here. I'm kind of thinking I might get another one and put that in my kitchen to make it look a little bit more seamless in there. You call me late. I loved you for your wits and your wicked games. Uh, yeah. Coming upstairs, it was a mess up here. The boys have totally had free reign up here earlier in the day, and I had not even come up here earlier to see what all they had done. So the boys' beds weren't terrible, but I feel like they haven't really even been sleeping in here recently because ever since I redecorated our guest bedroom slash playroom, 
They have been sleeping in there and having sleepovers almost every night. It's been so fun to watch. It's just been so much fun seeing them sleep together all the time. I know there will be a point when they don't want to sleep together and they want their own room, but for now they love it and we are really enjoying this time with them. Moving out of the boys room and into the guest room slash playroom, this bed is pretty hard for them to make because of the sides that it has on it and because it's so big. So when they sleep in here, they usually don't end up making the bed. Sometimes they try, it looks like they didn't even try on this day, but it doesn't really bother me just because they do do their other chores in the morning. But I wanted to go ahead and make sure that it was looking nice, even if they were going to be sleeping in it tonight, because as I said, the babysitter was coming over for the first time and I just wanted everything to look really nice. Next I moved on to the toys and they had a ton of toys out. If you watched my recent playroom declutter video, we got rid of a ton of toys and I still feel like we have too many, especially because we did have Christmas after that and they got a few more toys for Christmas. But during my decluttering process, I am planning to go back into the playroom and get rid of even more toys because I do feel like having too many toys for kids is just almost too overwhelming for them and they will really be able to enjoy their toys even more when they actually have less. Let me know what you think about that if you agree with me on that one. I've seen so many people get rid of so many toys and when they have a lot less, their kids play a lot better and they just enjoy it more. So that's what I'm planning on doing at this point is coming in here and making their toys much more minimal because although most of the toys that they have for all three of them fit into these bins, I feel like they still have a lot of toys and really they have way too many toys for just three of them. So I'm really looking forward to that point when we just have very minimal toys where it doesn't end up looking like this every day. I don't think I want to forget anyway, yeah, yeah. The last area that I wanted to clean before I went downstairs to do the floors is the bathroom upstairs. This is the boys bathroom and I do have to wipe the toilet down basically every day. I don't think there's any hack around that really other than just doing it because until they get older it's just going to be a little bit of a rough area for us. But I wanted to make sure it looked really nice in here and I just paid a little extra attention like getting under everything. I didn't just wipe the counter around the items. I wanted to make sure that I really got under all of the items. So I took everything off the counter and got that completely wiped down. And then to clean the mirror, I'm just using my e-cloth. So I have the e-cloth all-purpose cloth, which you just use water with. And then you just wipe it down and dry it off with a glass and polishing cloth. And it will get your mirrors and your stainless steel and any shiny surface like that completely streak free. It's so amazing and I love that it uses just water. It's 
The last thing I needed to do in our house was just vacuum. So since our Roomba was upstairs vacuuming that area for me, I wanted to go ahead and vacuum our stairs. I do not vacuum our stairs every single day. This is more of like a once a week type thing because we don't eat upstairs, but it really does make such a big difference to get them vacuumed. The very last thing I needed to do was just to mop our floors. I do have a steam mop that I also love, but when I'm short on time or when I'm short on motivation or I'm just a little tired, I do really love using this e-cloth spray mop. It just makes it so easy and convenient. And because it has the e-cloth technology in the cloth, it actually does disinfect your floors even if you're only using water. So that's another thing that I really love about it. Just when I thought I was done, I remembered I still had that load of laundry that I needed to fold. So I went ahead and just folded the rest of our towels and then I just got to enjoy the rest of the time before Kyle and I went on our date. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed this whole house clean with me and I hope you guys got some extreme cleaning motivation. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and also head on over to Instagram and follow me over there and I will see you guys in my next one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is really late right now. It's just past 11 and I'm getting ready to clean our main living area. So we are gonna do an after dark clean with me today. We had a really, really busy night. We just had to get a ton of Luke's schoolwork done. He had like several projects that we kind of put off throughout the week because we also had a busy week. And so because of that, I just did not get any cleaning done this evening at all. We also are having Kyle's mom come into town from Montana tomorrow night, like late tomorrow night. And we also have a busy day tomorrow, so I know that I'm not gonna have a chance to clean the entire house tomorrow. So I really wanted to just focus on getting the main living area cleaned up and that way I can just go through the bedrooms, go through the bathrooms and stuff tomorrow and get it kind of nice for her to come stay with us. Everyone is sleeping right now. Kyle is sleeping because he has to get up super early for work tomorrow. And then the boys are sleeping of course because it's 11 at night and Luke has school tomorrow and they're really little so <laughs> they are sleeping already but I really just need to get this done tonight. I don't really mind being up late cleaning. This is like my favorite time to clean. Not really at 11 but once everyone's gone to sleep it's really just nice and peaceful for me to just clean and get things done. The cats are meowing. <laughs> but I know you guys love these after dark clean with me, so I figured I would go ahead and take you guys along with me and give you guys the cleaning motivation that you guys love to get. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into this. We have a lot to get done, so I'm gonna put my hair up. And you're gonna get to work. You better turn up. So the first thing that I started with in my kitchen is just clearing everything off the counters. This is what I do every time I clean my kitchen. I just feel like getting everything off the counters is the first thing to do, and then I start working on the dishes. I did decide to take a little detour and go ahead and clear out our mail area. We just have this little mail caddy or mailbox, whatever you wanna call it, but anytime we get mail in, we just go ahead and put it in there. And then Kyle and I will just go through it once a week or so, but sometimes it ends up getting a little bit too backed up and so today I just needed to go through it and see what things could be tossed away and what things we still needed to go through together. And it just looked so much better once I got that taken care of. I get so many questions about our little to-do and done list. This is a chore chart that I made for the boys several years ago. And as I said, I do get a ton of questions about it. So if you guys want me to share a DIY on this, on how to make it, let me know in the comments below because I would love to share that with you guys if there's enough interest for it. Moving on to the table, I had a lot of things in here. Some things were from Luke's projects. Other things, I'm not sure where they came from, but they were just sitting on the table. Leave a comment letting me know where is your catch-all in your house? Is it your dresser? Is it your table? Is it a desk? I feel like our table used to not be the catch-all, but it's starting to become that way as the boys get older and older. So this is something that I'm looking forward to decluttering so that we don't really have such a problem with these catch-all areas. So I had a sink full of dishes tonight to do. 
I usually don't let it get this bad. I usually try and load our dishwasher as the day goes on, but for some reason I just could not get around to it today and I just had all the dishes from the day waiting for me. But I really did not want to leave them overnight and have to deal with them in the morning. So I do love cleaning all of our dishes at night and just doing my quick nighttime cleaning routine. And even if I don't have a chance to do my entire routine, I really do love to focus on the kitchen at night I feel like once your kitchen is clean at night, it just starts the next morning so much better off when you wake up to a clean kitchen and you don't have that already hanging over your head in the morning. So to me, the kitchen is definitely the most important thing to get clean at night, but let me know what area of your house is the most important to be clean for you. Is it your kitchen? Is it your living room? Is it a bedroom? I'm just curious if you guys have the same views on this as I do and think that the kitchen is the most important for that, or if you guys have a different area of the house that makes a bigger difference to you. you need to know if you see me how i see you, it will show i am waiting for a moment to tell you everything but i didn't have the courage i didn't do a thing there was nobody around nobody just me since i had all of those dishes sitting in the sink i wanted to give it a good scrub so i'm just using my mrs meyers basil dish soap to give that a really nice clean and there's something so satisfying about having a clean sink i know i've said it a thousand times but it just feels so so good to me Once my sink was clean, I like to finish it off with adding a few drops of essential oils. You can add whatever scent you want. A few of my favorite ones are grapefruit and peppermint. I just ordered some more basil, so that is going to be what I'm going to be using next. But if you guys have not tried this little tip, definitely try it out. It makes your sink smell so, so good. The next thing I needed to do is just refill my dish station. So I'm just taking my bubble up sponge dish and my bubble up dish brush and getting that filled up with soap and water so it's ready to go. And I get these from Grove Collaborative along with my stoneware tray that you see underneath them. And I do have a link down below where you can get this bubble up sponge dish for free along with a few other cleaning goodies. So definitely check out that link below and get yourself some free products. And I did just want to mention, I know that a lot of people have been kind of apprehensive about trying Grove out because they do use the auto ship, but I actually shared in my recent Grove collaborative haul. I will link that up above for you guys right here, but they actually have an option now where you can completely turn off auto ship and just order as you want. So I explained how to do that in that video. So as I said, I will have that linked up above and down in the description box. So definitely check that out if you have been interested in ordering from Grove but you don't want the auto ship. I completely understand not wanting that auto ship on. So I love that they are offering this feature now. To clean off my counters, I am just using the Basil Mrs. Meyers all-purpose spray. And I've gotten some questions on if you're able to use the spray on your countertops. And I have been okay with it, but we do seal our granite countertops about twice a year. So because we do seal our countertops, we haven't had any problems with it. And we have been using all-purpose sprays on our countertops for years.
Once I got all of our counters wiped down, I just went ahead and rinsed my cloth off and then I pulled out my e-cloth because I'm going to start cleaning off my stove and my other big appliances. If you've watched my videos before, you know how much I love e-cloths. They work so well, and I always get questions on which ones I use, so to clean my appliances off, I just use the all-purpose e-cloth, and that just really cleans and sanitizes with just water, which is really amazing, and then to wipe it off and shine it, I just use the glass and polishing cloth. And that always gets my stainless steel so, so shiny. So if you guys have not checked out eCloth, I will leave their link down below. Check them out. You can get them on their website. You can also find them on Amazon. And then also even Grove sells them as well. So you can find them all over. If you don't want to order online, I believe that Ace Hardware even sells them. I'm not sure if they do anymore, but I know a long time ago I did see them there. So really you can find them all over the place now, but definitely pick yourself up some. You guys will not regret it. Okay, so I wanted to pause for a second and update you guys. If you watched my whole house clean with me last week, I shared that I needed some help with the hard water issues that we were having on here. It looked really, really bad. And a lot of you said to go ahead and soak like a paper towel or some kind of towel in white vinegar and just let it sit overnight or for like a couple of hours. So I did that the other night. I let it sit for overnight. I just soaked it in vinegar and let it sit. And the next morning I wiped it all off and it was like gone. So if you guys have any hard water shoes, definitely try just soaking it for a really long time with white vinegar. I had tried wiping it off with vinegar before, but it didn't work. So definitely just letting it sit for a while makes a big difference. So thank you guys to all of you who gave me any recommendations. If I have any other issues and that one doesn't work, I will definitely be trying the other ones, but I just wanted to update you guys because I've been getting a lot of questions about that. The last thing I needed to do in my kitchen was just to wipe down my cabinets. I don't do this every single day, but I do find that I have to do it more often because we do have white cabinets in this house. And although the upper cabinets don't really get too dirty, those are just mostly dusting them. The bottom ones do get pretty dirty pretty often because we do have little hands in this house and they are perfect height for them to just get all of the mess all over them all the time. Let me know if you have little ones, if you find yourself having to wipe down your cabinets regularly or if they don't seem to bother them. I don't know what they get on their fingers, but I feel like they just get something sticky or something colored on them all the time. Once I was done wiping everything down with my e-cloth, I just moved into the dining room and started wiping down my table with the all-purpose spray. Moving into the living room, it was not too terrible in here at all. If you guys have seen my videos, you know that it's been way, way, way worse than this before. But I did have the kids kind of pick up their toys before they went to bed. So I think that's why this room is not in terrible shape right now. So I just needed to pick up a few little stragglers they must have missed. And of course, move the throw pillows back where they're supposed to be because they just do not ever stay where I actually put them for very long. The last thing that I needed to take care of was just our floors. 
So I am just sweeping tonight. You guys know I love using my Dyson. I usually use my Dyson anytime I do my floors, but because it was almost midnight, it might've been midnight at this point. I think I was cleaning for about an hour and 15 minutes tonight. And so because it was so late and everybody was sleeping, I did not want to risk waking anybody up. So I just decided to sweep on this night. To mop my floors tonight, I'm just using my e-cloth spray mop. This is something that has become such a staple in my house. I got it several months ago and it has just made mopping so much easier for me. I really don't mind doing it all that much anymore because this mop has made it so convenient. But all you do is just fill up the container with some water and because e-cloth has the technology to go ahead and disinfect with just water in their cloths, I love that it's still cleaning my floors while it's still so convenient. And the pads are also reusable so you're not having to waste any product. Hello, my orders. Hello again. You're out of order. I'm out of pain. We're closing circles. We got no end. Another scene. So I hope you guys enjoyed this after dark clean with me and I hope you got all of the cleaning motivation that you are needing today. I also wanted to let you guys know that I'm starting to bring out some This Crazy Life merchandise. You guys have been asking me for quite some time about this so I will leave the link to those products down below and please let me know in the comments what kind of merchandise you would like to see from me. We're slowly adding more and more items so I'd love to see what you guys actually want to see. Be sure to subscribe down below if you are not already and also head on over to Instagram and follow me over there as well. And I will see you guys in my next one. I will be fighting to hold the line. We're never hiding, we never lie. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a kitchen clean with me and then after we get everything all cleaned up, I'm actually gonna go through all of my cabinets and drawers and reorganize everything. If you saw my decluttering video, it was a kitchen KonMari decluttering video that I shared last week, but we got rid of a ton, a ton of stuff. It was super motivating and it feels like such a breath of fresh air to just get all that done. But now that we don't have a lot of things in there, I know that some of the systems that I was using before are not really working anymore. Some cabinets and stuff just didn't have any systems. So I want to go in today now and just kind of reorganize everything and make sure that the items that we are keeping are really organized and easily accessible and just making life the easiest that it can be in the kitchen. 
So that is exactly what we're going to do today. So I hope that this video can give you some good cleaning motivation and then also give you lots of different organizing ideas. And one more thing before we get started, as I said, I did share a decluttering my kitchen video last week, but that is actually the start of a whole house decluttering series. I am super, super excited and I'm super excited that a lot of you guys are coming on this journey with me. So if you are not already subscribed, be sure that you hit that subscribe button and also the notification button down below. And I've said this before, but YouTube is being kind of weird lately. So if you are not getting notified of my videos, then make sure that you are following me over on Instagram and also Facebook because I do update on there whenever I have a new video. So that will give you the best chance to keep following along on this process with me. But now let's go ahead and get on into it. Okay, so the first thing that I want to say is if you see me talking to myself, I am actually on the phone with my mom. I was just on my AirPods talking to her, kind of making the time go by, but that is why I am talking sometimes. I am not just talking to myself. Let me know what's something you guys like to do to pass the time when you have a big task at hand. Do you guys listen to podcasts? Do you guys listen to music? Do you watch a show? Just let me know in the comments what your favorite thing to do is while you are cleaning. If you watch my cleaning videos often, you know that I usually always use my dishwasher to clean our dishes, and then I just wash my pots and pans and knives by hand. But on this day, I really wanted to make sure that I had everything in our cabinets cleaned, so I just wanted to go ahead and hand wash all of our dishes. Once I got our sink filled up with some warm soapy water, I just needed to empty out the dishwasher. This is something that our boys usually go ahead and take care of in the morning as one of their morning chores, but it turns out that I forgot to run the dishwasher the night before. I had gotten it all set up, I had even put the soap in there, and then I forgot to turn it on, so that was a bummer to wake up to dirty dishes when I had done all the work to get it done overnight. But that's just how life goes, and I feel like things like that always happen, and we just have to roll with it. To wipe down the counters, I am just using the Caltre Sea Salt Neroli countertop spray. This is hands down my very favorite scent ever. I have smelled so many of the different products and so many of the different scents and nothing rivals this one. This one is hands down my very favorite one. I don't know how to explain it. I've explained it to you guys before and I feel like it smells kind of like a beachy men's cologne but honestly, that just does not even do it justice. It just smells amazing. If you guys have smelled the sea salt neroli, vouch for me down in the comments and tell everyone I am not crazy for how much I love this stuff. It is amazing. Once the counters were all cleaned off, I just wanted to do a quick wipe down of my stove. I do usually use my e-cloths on my stove, but just because this was a pretty quick clean and I already had these products out, I just went ahead and wiped them down with the spray. Right. I know that we'll be fine. 
Moving on to our other appliances, I did decide to get our e-cloth out because this is really what makes such a big difference on my fridge. I do have to do this pretty regularly because we have small fingerprints in this house, but all I am using is just the e-cloth all-purpose cloth, and you just get it wet with water and then wipe down your appliances, and then you follow right behind it with a dry glass and polishing cloth from e-cloth as well, and this combo is just amazing. I've tried so many things, I've told you guys a thousand times, and it leaves zero streaks on your stainless steel appliances. It is awesome. So once all the counters were cleaned off and the dishes had been soaking in the sink for a few minutes, I went ahead and just started washing them off. Let me know if you guys enjoy hand washing dishes or if that is one of your least favorite chores. I actually don't really mind hand washing dishes when I have a little extra time or for some reason I actually really enjoy washing dishes when I'm at my mom's house visiting. I think just because I grew up helping her out with dishes. So maybe that's why I just kind of enjoy that when I'm at my mom's house. But at my house, I am very happy that we have a dishwasher. I do really remember the times when we didn't have dishwashers. So for those of you without dishwashers right now, I know it is so much work and you guys are doing amazing hand washing your dishes every single day. Once all of the dishes were cleaned, I just wanted to clean out my soap station. So this is just the Bubble Up dish brush that I'm cleaning out, and then I also have the Bubble Up sponge dish that I'm cleaning out, and below all of those is the stoneware tray from Grove Collaborative. I have gotten all of these from Grove Collaborative, but I believe the two dishes are also available on Amazon. I will link them down below, but if you are interested in checking out Grove, that's where I get most all of my cleaners from. And I do have a code for you guys that will actually give you this little dish along with a glass hand soap bottle and a hand soap refill and a few other little goodies as well. And then I believe even if you spend $39, then you can go ahead and get that stoneware tray for free as well. This is like one of my favorite offers I have ever seen them offer, so definitely check that down in the description box below. And I also have mentioned a few times, but if you don't want to be on the auto ship with Grove, you can go ahead and turn that off, and I will link that video right here for you guys up in an iCard and also down in the description box in case if you want to turn that auto ship off. It's super, super easy, and then you can go ahead and get some free products, save some money on Grove, and also get them delivered to your door, which honestly, anything that keeps me out of Target is probably a good thing, although it still is like my favorite store. <laughs> The last thing I want to do once my sink is all clean is just add in a few drops of essential oils. I have heard from you guys so many different times that you guys try this little trick and how well it works. So if you've not tried it, try it out. Just grab yourself some essential oils and pop them in your drain and it will really freshen up your drain. You will not believe what a difference it makes.
Next, I just wanted to take out the trash. I noticed that it was getting a bit full. This is something that I usually have Kyle do, but I just decided to go ahead and take it out since it was full. Let me know if you guys have kind of designated chores in your house or if you guys just kind of take turns taking care of everything. Kyle and I usually kind of divvy up the chores a little bit, but we do tend to have certain things that pretty much only I will take care of and pretty much only he takes care of. So let me know in the comments how you guys work it out at your house. Okay, so I just finished cleaning the kitchen. It is looking nice and shiny. Won't last, but feels good for now. <laughs> so I'm gonna go through everything that I got and then I'll tell you where I got them. And if I can link anything below, I'm not really sure if I can link much, but I will tell you about them where I got them and everything. And then anything I can link, I will link for you guys. And then we will get on into organizing all of these cabinets. Okay, so these cups I actually had decluttered last week when I decluttered everything in our kitchen, but then I ended up pulling them out because I decided I could actually fill up a lot of things with these, and I have these lids. I really like these lids as well, so I just decided to go ahead and use these in my organization. These next two items are actually from the Dollar Tree, but they were not black when I got them. You can kind of see the color right here. They were like a teal blue, and I just wanted everything to look a little bit more uniform, so I actually just got these and then took them home and spray painted them. I would have actually spray painted them white, but we didn't have any white spray paint, so I just went ahead and used the black that we did have. These next items are just some cutlery trays that I got from Ross. I love shopping for organization items at Ross. They are a little bit more expensive than I like to spend on my organization items, but sometimes it's just worth it. And then I also got some sticky tack and I will show you what I'm going to be doing with that later. And then this other bin actually just came from the Dollar Tree as well. I didn't feel the need to spray paint this one because where I'm going to be using it, it's going to be kind of off in the back and you won't really see it too much. And I also didn't mind the color at all. And then these last items are actually going to be for a tea station. I asked you guys over on Instagram if that would be something that you were interested in seeing and almost all of you guys said yes. So I'm really excited to show you guys how that turned out. We have been loving having a little tea station. So this is all the stuff that I needed to go ahead and organize my space. And I honestly feel like because we decluttered so much, I just don't have that many places that need like a ton of organizing or a ton of systems, which is like awesome. It feels really good. So let's go ahead and get to it. As I'm opening up some of the cabinets, I know that I'm not going to have to touch all of these cabinets because like this one is my favorite. It just looks so peaceful to me. And I got a lot of questions about these. I have this one over here and then also in my cup cabinet, but these actually came from Ikea. You just kind of like screw them together and they are really, really nice. I love how sleek they are. I love that they're white. So they actually match our cabinets perfectly. I just love them so much, but this is like by far my favorite, favorite cabinet. And these, I was thinking I would end up pulling them out, but I put them in there just to kind of like store them. But I don't know. It's just like a little surprise when you're looking in there and you open up the cabinet and see that greenery and it sparks joy. So I decided to go ahead and leave them in there for now. The next cabinet that I really don't think I'm gonna have to do much to is our cup cabinet. It kind of looks like we still have quite a few cups. It's hard because like these ones up here are homemade cups that are really special. These ones we will probably only use around Christmas time. They're like a Polar Express cup kind of thing. And then these are the ones that I use. So two are Ray Dunn's. And then one was actually sent to me by my sweet friend that I met through YouTube. And then these are just the ones that Kyle uses. And I wanted to have a few extra for in case we have company. And I also have a few of extra of those ones up there. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep all of those, but that's what we were left with. Okay, so I'm not really going in any particular order. And you can kind of see my thought process on a lot of this. I'm just kind of moving things around and seeing how they fit, how they look. And then once I have things where I want them, I'm going to go ahead and take this sticky tack and actually just secure the organization systems that I have in place because I'm sure you guys have noticed this, but when you don't secure your items in place, they move around and even if it's kind of organized, it ends up looking a little dismayed when everything is moving around, especially when you have them in drawers. So this is my little trick that I like to use in our bathrooms, also in our kitchen cabinets. And I have been out of sticky tack, so I've just kind of not done that ever since we moved in and I have really missed doing that. So if you guys have the chance, run to Walmart, run to your Dollar Tree, run to Hobby Lobby, they have sticky tack everywhere. Go grab yourself a pack and just kind of secure your systems down and I'm telling you, it will make such a difference. 
So as you can see, some of these drawers were already kind of organized a little bit from my old systems that I had in place. And honestly, when I decluttered everything last week, it really made the systems that I had in place work a lot better for me. So that was really nice that I didn't feel like I needed to do too much to organize my kitchen now that we got everything kind of decluttered. Okay, so this drawer was such a mess last week. And I feel like after I decluttered it, it was still kind of a mess. It wasn't something that brought me a lot of joy just because the systems that I had in place in here were not really working. So this is one of the drawers that I have been so, so excited to change up. So I'm just using those cutlery trays that I got from Ross that I showed you earlier. And what I'm trying to do here is just organize them as minimally as I can. And what I mean by that is only putting just a few items into each slot. And that way each little slot doesn't get overwhelming. And I really love how this drawer turned out. Light it up, I can't speak your mind My world's slipping under, give me nothing back What is love, I can't tell you how I'm caught up in your thoughts and I See I've been building walls You break them down, break them down Oh, every time I go Brings back your love, back your Next, I'm just moving over into my silverware drawer and I'm just pulling everything out. And I feel like this drawer is actually pretty well organized now since we decluttered in here. So the main thing that I'm gonna be doing in here is just adding that sticky tack to the bottom of some of these trays just to help keep them in place a little bit better. I loved you without no doubts, but I need love to stay alive. Light it up, I can't speak your mind. My world's slipping on it, give me nothing back. These metal bowls I have kept for years and years and I never really use them. I've actually tried to declutter them before and then I'm like, you know what? They are super nice bowls. I should just keep them and start using them. And I keep them and then I try and declutter them and I put them back and I keep them for longer and they end up making my cupboard look so much more cluttered and I never end up getting use out of them. So instead, I'm gonna go ahead and give these to my mother-in-law when she comes and visits, and I know that she is going to get a lot more use out of them than I do because I just don't prefer those ones for some reason. I am letting myself be okay with just letting them go, and it feels really good. Down in this drawer, I didn't really feel like I could organize this space too well just because there was not really much room to go ahead and put any systems in place. But one thing I did want to mention, and I mentioned it last week as well, but if you have cooling racks, stack one of them up and slide some things under them. It just gives you a little bit of a shelf down there and you can go ahead and organize a few things that way as well. So one thing that you can see I'm doing here is actually just kind of pulling everything out and reevaluating it. Why I'm doing this is just to see if there's anything that I missed that I wanted to declutter. And then if there's not, then I just go ahead and put it back. And even if I feel like I don't need to go ahead and reorganize this area, I just want to make sure that I'm not keeping anything that I don't want or don't need. So moving into this cabinet up here, this is kind of like my miscellaneous cabinet. 
I have all kinds of things in here from serving dishes to our cookbooks to supplements that we take or things that we add into our smoothies. We also have a bunch of herbal teas in here as well. So this cabinet, I definitely did a lot to. I felt like it turned out totally different. And I'm also going to be taking all of the teas down and showing you guys how I put together that tea station in a few minutes. So one trick, if you have a lot of bags or boxes of things, it is so inexpensive and it looks so nice to use mason jars to store items. I've used this system a lot in our pantry and I will be showing you guys that in a future pantry video. That will be up within the next few weeks, I believe. I'm really excited for that one too, but this is a way that looks really, really nice. It looks really clean. You can also see everything that you have and then you can also go ahead and get labels and label your items as well in case if you're not really sure what's in them or if you just want to always see what's in them for sure if you end up having a lot of mason jars like this. But I really love the look of the clear jars and I think it ends up looking really high end without spending very much money at all. And I've also had these white lids for years. I love them so much. I think they make the jars look really nice and clean and it's also just a bit easier to use without having to use the traditional two-piece mason jar lid. So I will link them down below, but I believe that you can get them at Walmart and also on Amazon. So they are something I really, really love. Not a smooth talker, under pressure. Sweaty palms ain't making it much better. Something about you feels so special. Okay, so for the tray, like the base of it, I actually found this board super, super pretty. It has like the bark kind of still left on it. And this was the Threshold brand. This one was from Target. So you guys will be able to find this. But I just thought this was so pretty and I don't know, I just loved it. So this is gonna be like the base of our tea bar. And then to hold the teas, I actually found this little thing at Walmart. So I will try and link it down below, but I thought the little slots in here were super perfect. I think this was actually like in the bathroom section, so not really meant for the kitchen, but that's where I'm gonna use it. But it has like different sections right here. And then this one, I think I'm gonna probably put like hot cocoa and apple cider for the boys so that they're still included. I don't think I'm gonna use this piece, but it's just like a little piece you can put right here. So if you did just do that, you could end up putting like little teas in there and they've been putting like a cream or like a sugar or something there, I don't know. There's like different options, but I thought this was so cute and so perfect, so I'm excited. Okay, so my thought process while I'm making this little tea station is I'm wanting to take all of our teas that are pre-packaged and put them into the little tea station right here, but then a few of our teas are pre-packaged, but they aren't packaged in paper, and so I need to keep some of them in their own boxes to keep them fresh. So that's why I'm only putting certain teas in the tea station box and the rest of them will end up just going up in the cabinet for easy access, but I'm going to organize them in a way that I feel will work out a little bit easier for us. And then in the big section in the back, I am just going to end up putting the hot chocolate and some apple cider for our boys. And that way they still feel included because I am kind of trading out the cocoa bar for them. But instead of just making it an herbal tea station for me and Kyle, I wanted to go ahead and make sure to include them as well.
So to actually set up the tea station, I am just taking that wooden tray that I showed you guys earlier, and then to make this tea station something that I'm going to enjoy keeping on my counter and something that's actually not going to cause me more frustration, I'm going to put sticky tack on the bottom of this tray and actually keep it exactly where I want it. I love how everything turned out. I feel like everything has a really good spot. Everything is really easy to see and very accessible. And I absolutely love this tea station. We have already used it so, so much. It is definitely becoming one of our favorite spots in the kitchen. And I love opening up our drawers and our cabinets and just seeing everything look really nice and clean. It really makes me happy every time I open them up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some cleaning motivation and also some good organization ideas. I will be sharing another decluttering video next week, so definitely stay tuned for that. And if you are looking for some more cleaning motivation, I'm gonna go ahead and put up my cleaning playlist up here. I have cleaning marathons that are over an hour and a half long. I have tons and tons of cleaning motivation, so definitely check that out. And if you are not subscribed already, be sure you hit that subscribe button down below and head over to Instagram and follow me over there as well. And I will see you guys in my next one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another clean with me. So today we are going to be getting a jump on some spring cleaning. That is something that I really love is once you have your whole house done with spring cleaning, it just feels so fresh and so clean and it is just such a joy to be in your house once it's all finished. So it is going to be quite the process. I'm sure I'm not going to be getting all of it done all in one day, but we are going to get started today and get as much done as we can. And now without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into the cleaning. So the first thing that I wanted to do before I got into all of the deep spring cleaning was to go ahead and just clear off my countertop and just kind of do like some regular light cleaning in the kitchen and make sure that I'm starting with a clean area. If you've watched my videos a lot, you guys know that I almost always start off in my kitchen and my main reason for doing that is that I feel personally that my kitchen is kind of my domino chore. And what I mean by a domino chore is that that is the space in my house that once that is cleaned, it really motivates me to continue on cleaning. So that is why I usually start out in my kitchen and then I just get the motivation from doing that to continue on with the rest of the house or the other spaces in my house that need to be cleaned. Let me know if you have a domino chore and if you don't have a domino chore, think about it and let me know what you you think could be your domino chore because I guarantee once you figure that out it will make cleaning a lot easier. To clean my countertops off today, I'm just going to be using my e-cloth. I love e-cloth so much. They have a really great technology where they are actually able to disinfect with just water and they are also reusable. So they are really green and you can save a lot of money using them. So if you are interested in checking out e-cloths, you can either get them from their website or on Amazon or also on Grove Collaborative, which is where I get most all of my cleaners. I do have a link down below for Grove if you are interested in checking them out and you can get some free goodies with that order. And also if you are wanting to try out eCloths but you don't want to order them online, I have heard that Ace Hardware carries them as well so you can definitely check that out too. So once I got our countertops all wiped off, 
I am just going to be sealing our countertops. I had mentioned this a few videos back and a lot of you guys had never heard of sealing your own granite countertops. So we have had granite in past houses and this makes such a big difference. So I just get this granite sealer from Walmart, but I'm sure you can find it all different places. And then you just spray it on and let it sit for about five minutes and it will kind of soak into the granite stone and it creates a really good barrier to help protect your granite countertops. And I usually like to do this at least once a year and usually twice a year. So while the granite sealer is sitting on the countertops, I am just going back through with my e-cloth and just wiping down all of our cabinets and doors in the kitchen and making sure that they are looking nice and clean. Once I got all of my appliances cleaned and wiped off, I just went over the countertops with a dry cloth in a circular motion, just rubbing the rest of that product into the countertops. And then once all of the countertops were nice and sealed, it was just time to go ahead and put everything back on them. You guys know it's about to get real when the hair goes up. This is where I'm gonna start getting into the serious deep spring cleaning. The next thing I wanted to do was wipe off all of our light fixtures. I also did the one in the dining room, but it turns out my camera was not angled properly and I was completely out of the shot, so I didn't include that, but I did go ahead and get that one wiped down as well. Now, usually I would recommend doing your light fixtures first and kind of working from the top down, but in this case, I had actually just cleaned them maybe a month or so ago, so they really weren't very dirty, so I wasn't too concerned about that. We could break up and then make up I always come back to you You move me in a way Never thought anyone could you Give me how you're my drug When I am free So I also wanted to get your guys' opinion on this We have been talking about getting a different TV stand so I'm gonna pop a picture up here for you guys and let me know which color you guys think would go best in our house. I'm kind of torn on them so just give me a vote down in the comments of which one you think would go better in our house.
Next, I just wanted to focus on our couch. And unfortunately, our couch cushions actually do not come off, which is such a bummer. So I just have to kind of spot clean them regularly. But before I do that, I wanted to get all of the dog hair off of our pillows and just make sure that I was starting out with a dog hair free surface. So I've shared this tip several times with you guys in the past, but if you guys have a microfiber couch like we do, you can go ahead and spray it down with some glass cleaner and then just wipe it off with a dry towel and you will be amazed at how much better it looks. It is seriously night and day the difference when you do that. Cigarettes laying around the room. I don't mind a little mess, just want to stay with you, and we'll do anything that we want today. Won't be scared of falling down no more. So take me away. Next, I just wanted to give our floors a quick vacuum. I am going to be tipping the couches over and seeing what's underneath them in just a minute, but I wanted to just go ahead and get a quick vacuum done first before we get into the serious stuff. We are green under the sun. We do our best to hide. Innocence fading away as we learn the truth and we'll be anything. The next thing on my list is to take care of my blinds. I do try and vacuum these somewhat regularly just so that I don't have a super huge buildup once I go to wipe them down. But to wipe them down, I am going to be using some hot water and an all-purpose concentrate. Now they do not sell this particular one anymore, unfortunately, but you can get it in the Mrs. Myers brand. And then you can also get things like Dr. Bronner's. They just sell a lot of different ones, but I really do recommend getting an all-purpose concentrate just because you can go ahead and tackle so many jobs with it and it just really versatile. You can even make your own all-purpose sprays with it. So if you guys have not checked out their concentrate, definitely go ahead and grab one. It is just such a versatile thing to have in your cleaning cabinet. We crossed the borderline into our dream. Nothing will ever be. The first thing that I do with our blinds is to grab a vacuum attachment and just kind of go over the blinds softly with it and that takes off a lot of dust and I've just found that that is kind of a really great way to make this process a little bit easier on yourself and kind of take out a little extra elbow grease. And then once you get your blinds vacuumed with that attachment, then you can go in with your all-purpose cleaner and hot water mix and just wipe them down with a damp cloth. That was disgusting. Are you guys ready to see what came off of those blinds? Ugh. So while I could reach the windows in our dining room, the ones in our living room are definitely something that I'm going to have my husband help out with. We are going to have to pull the couch out and get a ladder out and do the whole thing as a big process. I know I'm not gonna stay. Try to get up your 
For this part, I had Kyle come in and just help me move the couch. We usually try and do this about twice a year, but the time has just gotten away from us. This is the first time since we moved in that we actually separated the couch and moved it to get everything out from underneath it. We've kind of done little pickups here and there underneath, but it is pretty hard with this couch just because it has the bars in the frame, and so it makes it really hard to get underneath it. So we found quite a few goodies under here. And this, you guys, is something I was so disgusted at, honestly. This is the first time that we've had a big area rug that isn't really easily cleaned and taken up and shaken out like this. So I was just seriously disgusted at how much came out of this rug. I actually shared this part over on Instagram when I was filming this and a ton of you guys messaged me saying that this had happened to you too and you guys were so amazed and disgusted with how much came out of your rug whenever you shook them out. And to be honest, it kind of has me questioning whether or not I even want to have a rug anymore. If it can harbor all of this dirt and dust and sand and everything, it was just amazing how much came out of our rug. You're So there it is you guys, I am not hiding it from you, that's just real life and those are the kind of things that we find when we are spring cleaning, which is one reason why spring cleaning is seriously so important to do. Let me know what is your favorite thing to spring clean and also let me know what is the thing that you seriously dread when you're spring cleaning. I kind of dread doing our blinds and I also dread doing our baseboards just because those are things I really don't actually deep clean throughout the year. So I find that it is just such a big task to go ahead and clean them in the springtime. So speaking of baseboards, that actually was on my list and I was planning to go ahead and film that for you guys and get those cleaned. But because underneath the couch and the rug just became such a big and long process, I ended up deciding to go ahead and save that for another day. So I will be filming that when I go ahead and do that. I know that I'm going to be sharing more spring cleaning videos because like you guys can see, I did not get everything done, but it feels really good to get started on that. Why in gravity pulling you in close to me? I've lost you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the spring clean with me and I hope that this gave you some amazing cleaning motivation. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and also head over to Instagram and follow me over there and I will see you guys in my next one. But I